welcome to the channel. I have got another beautiful property to show you today. We are at 4010 Hockaday Avenue in Dallas, Texas. This beautiful home behind me is listed at 1.825 by Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International Realty. Listing agents are Jeannie Nethery and Pam Brannon, and I just wanna say thank you to them first before we get started on letting us tour this beautiful home. But behind us, we have over 5,600 square feet, six bedrooms, six bathrooms, absolutely incredible house. And really what sets the tone of this house is right here out in front. We've got this gorgeous water feature. You just get this calm, serene vibe when you're here, out here, and it flows throughout the house. So let's come on and take a look. So inside, we've got this left side of the house that's got a few bedrooms, so I wanna start off by showing you this first. We're gonna come into one of these guest bedrooms, really large size room, tall ceilings. We've got 10 foot ceilings downstairs, nine foot ceilings upstairs. This bed, this is a bedroom, but you could also use it as an office. It's kind of a flex space if you wanted to. And because it's at the front of the house, they do, they did add in these roller shades. These are blackout shades. So if this was a bedroom for your kids or a guest, you can put that curtain down. Everyone has privacy and shade and can kind of sleep in. We've got a full walk-in closet in this bedroom as well. And then this bedroom connects to a Jack and Jill, which we'll come in, in here and see. We've got dual sinks happening here. And then you know my favorite, I love pocket doors. So behind this pocket door, we've got a full walk-in shower. You kind of see like the stone color that's got in here. We've got a lot of natural elements throughout this house. You just feel calm and serene when you walk in here. I'm gonna say that a lot because that's how I feel and I want you guys to feel it too. And then we've got another guest bedroom right here. So if you had kids, they can kind of share this space. You want them all on the first floor. That's what's great about this house is we have bedrooms on the first floor and then you've also got two bedrooms upstairs. So you can kind of pick and choose when the little ones are younger and you want them nearby, have them downstairs. When they get older, they can move upstairs. So two bedrooms here. You're gonna see another really large walk-in closet. This is throughout the house and they've got custom shelving in every closet. You're gonna see that as we walk through. And then coming down this hallway, we've got a beautiful master bedroom. It's very private, very separate from the rest of the house. Come around this corner, and then we get to your beautiful master suite. And you've got these absolutely gorgeous, tall vaulted ceilings. I know I said 10 and a half feet, but you can see these vaulted ceilings. There's probably over 20 feet here, and it makes the room feel so grand and so large. So these current owners have moved out already, but you can get a feel for the space, where your furniture would go. You can have a huge, giant, king-size bed in here, gorgeous windows. Again, they've got added the roller shades for privacy in this room as well. You can see into your backyard, but from any direction, you're not seeing any neighbors peeking in. There are no windows that can look into this room, but you do have that added shades for privacy. And then an absolutely beautiful master bathroom. So we've got these vessel sinks, quart counters, quartz countertops, white oak custom cabinetry, and then an oversized bathtub. I'm a bath girl and I know I've mentioned that before. And what's great about this house is they have two tankless natural gas water heaters. So what that means is you're never running out of hot water. So I like to take long baths and then the bath gets cold and you can turn it back on. You're never gonna run out of hot water. And someone can take a shower in this oversized shower as well. We've got two shower heads, more than one person can shower at the same time. You can take a bath, you can have upstairs people taking a shower and you're not gonna run out of hot water at all. So from here we walk right in to this gigantic closet. This has got a built-in dresser. So his and her side, we've got cabinets on this side, cabinets on this side, a little uh, electrical outlet right here too if you needed to plug something in built-in custom cabinetry all along this room. And my favorite part is there is a full-size mirror right here. So you can check yourself out before you leave. And then like so many houses that we're seeing these days, the master closet is connected to the laundry room. So big walk-in laundry, tons of cabinet. You can kind of hide your cleaning supplies, which is what the current owners did with this. Beautiful tiling in here. And it's so perfect to have it right off of the closet because you don't have to haul your clothes anywhere to get them clean. 
And then through here, we're gonna go back down this hallway and into the best part of this house, which is the great room. This house is a complete open concept living. So you're gonna see we've got our living area, our dining area, and our kitchen that we can all see from one great space. Everyone can be in the, in the same room at the same time. One of the most beautiful features of this home is this absolutely gorgeous stone fireplace. This is an Izo Kern fireplace, which basically is volcanic pumice. It is the most energy efficient material on earth. So absolutely gorgeous addition to this room. Another thing we have here that's really beautiful is these white oak custom cabinets that are floating, white oak custom shelving, this is stained. We've also got white oak custom floors, three and a half inches here. Everything in here is just natural elements, wood colors. We've got a little bit of different color with the woods here, but it just feels so warm and inviting. Another thing that I absolutely love about this house is these windows. So these are Hello Low E wood clad windows, energy efficient. This house is 95% energy efficient heating and cooling. These also have the roller shades like I mentioned in some of the other rooms. So you could add privacy down here, shut these down so you can't have people seeing in if you don't want to. But when you do have a beautiful day like today, you can still see this gorgeous water feature, get that calm vibe that we were talking about. So right next to the living room, we've got our dining area. This room is kind of set apart with this light fixture here. It's so cool, it's so unique, and this kind of lets you know that this is really the space for your dining area. This is an eight person table right here. You could fit more friends here. You can add a bigger table if you wanted to, but this is like a perfect amount in my opinion. So let's go into the kitchen, which is literally my favorite because I love kitchens, because I love to cook. Check out this island. It is over 12 feet long. It is so beautiful with these quartz countertops. I am obsessed. And I'm also obsessed with the appliances in here. We have Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances, which are just so high end and wonderful. This is a six burner range. We also have a pot filler, this gorgeous mosaic tile that they mosaic tile that they put back here, which I absolutely love. It just gives it a little something extra because we do have so much wood and natural elements in here that I like that. And it really ties into the butler's pantry that I'm gonna show you in a second too. So again, with this kitchen, everything is so efficient. I mean, really with this house, if I'm, you're kind of not getting that theme, it's a lot of energy efficiency, but we're efficient on where placement is in the kitchen as well. So all of our pot um, cabinets or drawers are on this side right here. So you're not having to walk all across the kitchen to get this. All of these pull out drawers, this is where you can stack your pots and pans, all on this side. I, I absolutely, absolutely love that. And then on this side, we also have two Dishwashers. So you can't tell that there's two dishwashers because they've paneled off all of the appliances, which is just such a unique feature and is so pretty in these high-end houses. You're gonna see that more and more, but we've got a dishwasher here and then a dishwasher on this side as well, hidden, you can't see it. But like I talked about this black and white mosaic kind of pulling into the butler's pantry, this is what I'm talking about. So this is kind of the only room where you're not getting that same like wood element natural feel because we've got this black tile, these white cabinets, We've got a built-in coffee bar here, again, with the Wolf appliances and the microwave. We also have a wine fridge in here or just an extra beverage refrigerator. And then what you need when you host a party is an ice maker because you always run out of ice and there's always somebody running to get ice. So we've got a built-in ice maker in here as well. So this again, just your butler's pantry, a prep area, catering kitchen, whatever you wanna call it. And then we've got a full walk-in pantry here as well. So you can't have a lot of people and have a lot of food if you don't have a lot of place to put it. So we've got these side-by-side -side fridge, freezer, sub-zero right here. We've also got a great pull-out kind of cabinet. I think that you would use this for your spices and kind of like your olive oils and oils because everything's like a different size and you can't fit them all in the same cabinet. So that's what I think this is perfect for. But somebody could also put their cereal boxes or hide your goodies that you don't want other people to find. Uh, another little hiding space for kind of kitchen stuff is up here. These actually open up. I am vertically challenged, so I cannot open them. But a lot of things in this place are really high, so I think that the current owner is a little taller than me. So that's another place that you could hide something. So on these countertops, we have got pop-up electrical sockets. I don't know how many times 
I go to a girlfriend's house and I'm like, do you have a charger? I need to charge my phone because it's always dead. And I always have to go into her bedroom on her nightstand and plug it in. So this makes it perfect. So when your guests need to plug in their phone, it's out of the way. You can't even see that it's here. Pop it up and they can still sit here and charge their phone and still be part of the action. So this is really an important feature for me because this happens to me all the time. My phone is always dead. Another great thing here is this is kind of like a little buffet. So you can have, get all your hot stuff out of your double wolf ovens right here, place them onto here, use this as a buffet. So if you're having a party, you're having people over, they can kind of flow through the kitchen, get their food here, and then walk into the dining room. So this, this huge island still creates like a seamless flow around this kitchen, which is what I really, really love about it. And then we also have our garage here. I know we haven't talked about this, but we do have a three car garage right off the kitchen. We've also got a mud room that's got this custom cabinetry. Again, we have white oak shiplap on the custom cabinetry to create everything looks the same. It's so seamless. And then your garage is just right here off of the kitchen. So you walk in from outside into your kitchen. And then we also have more cabinetry right under this island. I know a lot of people don't always use this extra space. It's kind of wasted, but look how much more cabinetry you have all across this island. And we've got four chairs here, but this can really sit five people. So in addition to your eight person table, you've got room for five more people to sit here at your island. And then before I go show you another bedroom, here's a bar area. Same mosaic tiling as we saw in the kitchen, just right here off of the, in between your dining and your living, your kitchen, just to have all your beverages so everyone's hanging out. But let's go in here. This room we've got set up as an office. Oh, before we get there, sorry. We've got a powder bath right here with a gorgeous vessel sink, perfect for your guests, right off of the kitchen, so nobody needs to go into your bedrooms or any of the bedrooms for that matter to use the restroom. And then in here is what we are using as an office. So this is staged as an office, but it really could be a bedroom. We've got a full bathroom right here with a walk-in shower, really pretty blue tile you'll see in there that can be used. So this really could be a bedroom. I know they use it as an office, but it really could be a bedroom because you've got a full walk-in closet there as well. And then that's the end of downstairs. So let's go upstairs and take a look. All right, so we are upstairs now and we are in the game room. This is an oversized game room. And what I mentioned before about having your kids, maybe when they're little, if you have children, but maybe when they're little, they're downstairs because you want them to be nearby. But when they get older, they're upstairs. So this is their hangout living area. This is where their friends come over. They play games, they watch TV, what have you. And we've got two bedrooms up here. So let me show you this first bedroom. This house has great size rooms, and you can see that again with this bedroom. This faces the street. We've got beautiful shades on this as well. So a lot of times you get these houses that are newer and they don't have shades on them, and that's an extra expense. You don't have to do that here. And this room also has a full bath. Again, beautiful mosaic tiling in the bathroom. Another great walk-in closet. And then we've got our other bedroom across the way. So if you've got brother, sister, 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 they're not right next to each other. They're not on top of each other. Everybody has their own space on opposite sides of the game room. So I'm gonna take you into this room through the bathroom, which again is a full shower, walk-in shower, oversized. It's different from our bathroom over there. So kids don't have the exact same thing or relatives don't have the exact same thing. And then another size, really great room. I want to point out this paint. So a lot of times people look at photos of picture, or pictures of houses online and they see paint like this and it just deters you away from buying the house. This is an easy fix. So this is something that they did that maybe was like a creative outlet for them. You can fix this easily. You can change it back white. You can color it anything. So don't let something like this keep you from buying a house because we can fix that. So I talked a lot about the closets. This closet again has the full built-in custom shelving in here. And a little bonus is off of this room you can get into the attic. And this isn't just any attic, this is an oversized attic. It's basically its own room, it's just not finished out. But you can keep all your extra stuff in there, your Christmas tree, all your extra decorations. And then it's even a little bonus room for whoever lives in here. Uh, so while, we, while we're done with the house, I've got one more space to show you, and it's our outdoor living space. So come with me downstairs and let's take a look. 
All right guys, so last but not least, we have got our outdoor living area. So what is so great about this is you have 16 feet of these sliding doors. These are eight foot tall doors, but this is 16 feet wide. So you really get that indoor outdoor feel. And you come out here and you've got a covered patio. For all of my entertainers or outdoor grillers, we have a built-in grill here. We've also got another built-in refrigerator. So you can have your outdoor dining out here. This area, the way the house is built, this backyard area is super private. So you can see behind me, we're not getting any neighbors being able to peek over or anything like that. So really, really private, it's really enclosed with the way the shape of this house is. And then on a cold, chilly day like today, you've got a built-in outdoor fireplace. This is a wood-burning fireplace. It's already wired, as you can see, for a TV to go right there. Watch your games, watch your movies at night in your covered patio. I just love this space. So now let's go back inside and I'm gonna tell you where we are. So 4010 Hockaday Avenue is so centrally located. And I know I've said that before, but that really means to me and what it should mean to you is that it takes you probably 15 to 20 minutes to get downtown, to get up north, to get to airports, DFW, Love Field. It's really easy to jump on all the major highways here in Dallas. And another little added bonus is you are so close to all the top private schools in Dallas at this location right here. So I wanna say thank you so much for taking a look. That's, that's the house, that's 4010 Hockaday Avenue. One more time, thank you to the listing agents, Jeannie Nethery and Pam Brannon for letting us see this beautiful property that is listed by Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International Realty. So if you have any questions about this, please email me at stayas at briggsfreeman.com. And if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and set your alerts. And I will see you next time.